Many classic horror icons such as Giger Xenomorphs, Silent Hill's Pyramid Head, and other disturbing creatures share common characteristics. Pale skin, dark sunken eyes, elongated faces, sharp teeth and the like. These images inspire horror and revulsion in many, and with good reason. The characteristics shared by these faces are imprinted in the human mind. Many things frighten humans instinctively. The fear is natural and does not need to be reinforced in order to terrify. The fears are species-wide, stemming from dark times in the past, when lightning could mean the burning of your tree home. Thunder could be the approaching gallops of a stampede. Predators could hide in the darkness. And heights could make poor footing lethal. The question you have to ask yourself is this. What happened deep in the eras, before history began, that could affect the entire human race so evenly as to give the entire species a deep instinctual and lasting fear? of pale beings with dark sunken eyes, razor-sharp teeth, and elongated faces. Be careful out there. I lay in my bed, restless and alone, on a dark and silent night. I toss and turn in my bed, trying to find a comfortable spot, but I feel uneasy. Something about tonight just didn't feel right toss and turn until I finally find a comfortable position. I close my eyes, but it doesn't make a difference. It's too dark in my room to see anything, see a thing anyways. I guess it takes time for my eyes to adjust to the darkness. I lay there still and silent on a dark and dank night. My body's relaxed. My mind is blank. And I'm ready for some much-needed rest. Instantly, the silence is shattered. My mind fills with fearful thoughts as my startling, uh, startled eyes flash open. It's almost undoubtedly the sounds of fist on glass. But no, it couldn't be. What would someone's motivation be to wake someone alone in their room? Alone in their home? Think logically. If someone wanted to break in, why would they warn me with a knock? They would just break in, making a loud and obvious noise. I would try to be as silent as possible. Why would they knock? Monsters don't exist. I can give myself some peace of mind and simply look out the window. But I'm facing the other way, and I'm too timid to turn my head, afraid of finding my greatest fear standing outside my window. What could it be, though? Maybe a couple of birds flew into my window? No, that's too unrealistic. Could a group of kids be running around late at night knocking on windows to get a few laughs? It's a possibility. Come to think of it, maybe it was my imagination. Maybe I heard the usual creak in the house, and my paranoid mind has mistaken it for a knock. Nope, that definitely wasn't my imagination. Those damn kids are persistent. I don't want to quit until they get that reaction. Maybe some sick, twisted freak standing outside waiting for me to look so he can smash through and attack me. No, don't think like that. Don't think like that. Don't get paranoid. Besides, it's outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Monsters don't exist. Besides, I haven't moved yet. Hopefully those kids will think I'm a heavy sleeper and leave me alone. No, can't be kids. No kid would wait around this long just to get a reaction from one lonely guy. They just get bored and move along. But what could it be? Why would a serial killer target me, of all people? Think logically, monsters don't exist. Don't get paranoid. They're outside, I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. 
But if it's not a monster, some killer, what could it be? Just pretend to be asleep. Maybe they'll go away. God, I can't think of a noise I hate more than that persistent knock. Please go away. Just leave me alone and let me be. There's no hope. It's going to get in here and do sick and horrible things to me. Inhale, take deep breaths. And feel my heart pound out of my chest. Just relax. Monsters don't exist. Remember, they are outside. I am inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Repeat, monsters don't exist. Remember, they're outside, I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Don't let your fear get the best of you. Just pretend to be asleep. Don't move a muscle. They're outside, I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Monsters don't exist. Just pretend to be asleep. And pray it'll go away. They're outside, I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Frightful tears begin to drip down my face. Monsters don't exist. Monsters don't exist. I begin to whisper to myself, They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to go mad listening to these knocks. At least... If I see what it what it is, I'll have peace of mind. Take a deep breath. I repeat to myself one more time. They're outside. I'm inside. Till I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Take a few more breaths. My heart pounding as hard as it's ever pounded. At a mile a minute. I slowly turn my head to face the window. My heart sinks into my chest. I'm too afraid to scream or move. I turn my head to find a pale figure with beady black eyes staring through me into my soul. It's a horrid grin creeps across its face. It was standing inside the whole time, knocking on my window.